hi assalamu alaikum peace to you in this video we will design a single footing foundation uh, so example 12.2 uh, design a square column footing for a 16 inch square tight interior column that support a dead load of 200 keep live load of 160 keep the column is will be reinforced with eight number bar and the base of the footing is below 8 5 feet the soil weight is 100 pound per feet cube fy 60 ksi fc prime 3 ksi and q allowable bearing pressure is 5000 psf so the effective bearing pressure uh, 5 feet below the soil is uh, 4400 psf the design problem for me design of free and force concrete from a nielsen book so i am going to start from a new model uh, first of all i will select the unit system because the our problem is is in the fpa system so i have selected the uh, us customary unit system so now i am going to click the grid system here i will put uh, two grids in the x direction and two grids in the y direction with the spacing of Twenty feet by twenty feet in each direction. Okay, so here we can see our model. In x direction is twenty feet and y direction is twenty feet. The uh, after calculating the approximate or area of the footing that is eighty one feet square. So I have selected nine feet by nine feet the footing area size. So first of all, I am going to define the materials. Uh, the concrete and steel materials so fc prime is 3 ksi and fy is 60 ksi here i have put 3 ksi okay now i am going to define the steel bar that is of 60 uh, ksi there is already defined uh, 60 ksi grade so i will just change the name of it and you can also define 60000 psi grade steel okay now i am going to define the slab properties here is slab of the footing uh, i have selected 24 inch which is 2 feet slab thickness And the, I have also selected the type. So now I am uh, again defining a, a new slab, which is a stiff portion of slab, which will show the a central uh, central portion of uh, concrete slab, uh, central portion of column that is 24 inch so first of all i will draw uh, this slab that is of 9 feet by 9 feet um, by selecting quick draw areas around points so here in the x direction x dimension i will put 9 feet and the y dimension that will be uh, uh, 9 feet and the property is footing so here after just one click this lab uh, will be drawn of 9 feet by 9 feet now i will draw this stiff portion that will be indicate uh, the that will indicate the uh, 16 inch scale tight column 16 inch 
the software automatically understand and convert into fit so I will just click that portion here you can see it is uh, showing that column of 20 uh, size is 16 inch by 16 inch now I have run the point so where I can apply the loads so in our example there is only dead and live load so that's why I defined it uh, dead and live load patterns and for the designing of the uh, foundation according to uh, LRFD method so we have to define the two combinations what that is 1.4 1, uh, 1 dead and 1.2 dead plus 1.6 life that is according to ACI code so now I will define the boundary conditions that is for the uh, soil so like uh, I will I will define here the modulus of subgrade that is uh, basically the bedding pressure divided by the allowable settlement so here I am defining the soil properties In this problem that is effective bedding pressure is 4400 PSF and the allowable settlement is is uh, for this uh, isolated footing that is 1 inch is equal to 25 millimeter so here after dividing the settle uh, bedding pressure divided by settlement that is equal to 452800 pound per feet cube now I will click the slab after selecting the slab I will assign the spore data that is soil bearing pressure at the foundation now I have clicked the uh, point uh, and I will apply the loads that is dead load is 200 keep and live load is 160 keep 200 keep okay so now while I will select again and apply the 160 keep live load To check, to check that loads have been applied successfully you can check by clicking the right right click on that point and you can see the loads I am defining the design strips along the X and along the Y direction so that I can see the results by strip method. The, I will preferly, uh, prefer to uh, draw the dra design strips manually so that's why I am defining here uh, the strips manually. change the name for to draw in the y direction okay now 
I will run design and analysis before running I will save the model design of isolated footing using CSI save software after running the model you can see the deformations according to and deformation shape against the load combination 1.2 dead plus 1.6 life now show reactions against the load combination uh, for the soil bearing pressure for the soil pressure under the footing so here that much amount of pressure is under the footing so we have to provide uh, more reinforcement to control the pressure to control the moments shears etc now I am seeing the moments uh, in this in the layer a of strip in the layer B in the y direction here the moment is 399 per feet square so also see in the uh, book example 404 keep fit that is okay so here also the same results in the y direction of the movements in the show slab design I will uh, go through both methods by FEM finite element method and by stream method first of all by a finite element method in the direction 1 top D bar in the direction 1 bottom D bar uh, now strip based uh, only at the strips locations I can see the reinforcements top and bottom in the layer A mean in the X direction that is and now in this total uh, amount of reinforcement required similarly in the Y the total amount of rebar area required in this strip so that is per square feet so now I am uh, providing the reinforcement against the applied uh, loading so here I am changing the spacing here that's okay now I am optimizing the reinforcement apply if I provide number 4 at the rate of 6 inch spacing that is not enough so I am reducing the spacing so number 4 bar at the spacing of 4 inch uh, in, the, uh, in the x and y direction uh, that will be uh, okay and satisfying the uh, against the applied loading now I am running the detailing here after running the detailing uh, I can see the uh, footing layout plan footing table and footing bill of quantities mean how much an area of reinforcement required here is showing number 5 bar but I have provided number 4 bar so I will go in the preferences and change the preference bar number 4 so that uh, I can optimize accordingly uh, column strip number 4 4 here I have set the in the preferences number 4 bar now I am going to again running the analysis uh, running the detailing sorry so now check in the uh, footing bill of quantities against number 4 bar total 441 uh, fit scare length require fit length require thank you